Breaking news, Israel's cabinet has voted to approve a deal with Hamas to release some of the 200 hostages. Hamas is expected to release around 50 Israeli women and children in exchange for some Palestinian prisoners. And while the deal is not official yet, U.S. officials hope a three-year-old American girl will be among those released. The hostage deal is expected to come with a pause in the fighting. The State Department says the deal will have no impact on humanitarian aid into Gaza. An agreement on uh, hostages would release or would unlock the potential for delivery of more humanitarian assistance. So we're hopeful that that would take place. But again, it has always been our position that the two don't need to be linked, that humanitarian assistance should be delivered uh, as quickly as possible for the benefit of the Palestinian people. The Maryland Attorney General is suspending a member of the state's commission on hate crimes response and prevention. A statement from Attorney General Anthony Brown's office says Zainab Chowdhury's posts on her social media pages since October 7th quote, risk disrupting the work and mission of the commission. Well, the posts are about the war in Israel. Chowdhury claims babies murdered in a Hamas attack were fake and compared Israel to Nazi Germany, among other things. Fox 45 spoke with political commentator Armstrong Williams, who says her posts are troubling. He believes she should not return to the commission. Anytime you start out comparing Israel to Nazi Germany, that is a serious problem. And it's one thing to say I am pro-Palestinian, but to not to condemn Hamas once for the savage attacks of Israel on October the 7th, and all you talk about is advocating and somebody needs to defend Palestinian. Yeah, defend the innocents in Palestine, but also, also condemn the savagery of Hamas um, that happened that weekend where thousands of Jews died for no reason. Attorney General Brown is now calling on all members of the commission to be careful of their posts on social media, saying anything perceived as hate speech might disrupt the commission's work. Well, Fox 45 News spoke with Chowdhury just last week. She spoke out after a Johns Hopkins doctor was placed on leave for his anti-Palestinian posts on social media, calling for him to be fired and for his medical license to be revoked. Armstrong Williams now calling those demands hypocritical. She is doing not only the same thing, but much worse comparing Israel to Nazi Germany. You would think by now that all people in these roles of trust, uh, where you have influence and people watch you from what has happened at Cornell, Harvard, George Washington University, you would think now that people would be sensitive to the fact that you don't want to ever be perceived as pushing anti-Semitic, uh, anti-Israel, anti-Jewish sentiment and comparing them to Nazi Germany. Well, Williams right there bringing up anti-Semitic sen sentiments on college campuses. Senator Mitt Romney signed an open letter from Harvard alumni to university leaders slamming what they called a rise in anti-Semitism on campus. Former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan also withdrew his fellowship over what he calls dangerous anti-Semitism at Harvard. Now, earlier this month, Jewish students and community leaders raised concerns after a message referencing the Holocaust was found on the University of Maryland campus after a pro-Palestine rally. Dozens of Maryland lawmakers are threatening to withdraw funding from CASA of Maryland after its longtime director made pro-Palestinian comments on social media that lawmakers called hate speech. While some advocate uh, groups have defended CASA's right to free speech, the group did apologize for those comments. And now state lawmakers across the, across the nation are taking action against anti-Semitism. National correspondent Christine Frizzau has a closer look at what's happening in New York. The group Students for Justice in Palestine more vocal than ever at universities nationwide. But some now accuse them of supporting Hamas and terrorism. A bipartisan group of New York lawmakers asking Governor Kathy Hochul to shut down the group at area universities. In a letter writing, SJPs across the state have released statements that endorse attacks on civilians, arguing their rallies include chants from the Hamas charter, calling for the death and annihilation of Jews and Israel. Some chapters already suspended elsewhere. At a time, the Department of Education has launched an investigation into seven schools for alleged incidents of anti-Semitism, which have skyrocketed since the October 7th Hamas-led attack in Israel and the weeks of bombing by Israel that have followed in Gaza. Colleges should be places where students could express themselves, and it's okay to have different beliefs. 
Uh, and it's okay to express those different beliefs. But when it becomes a threat to students or when students can't feel safe walking from their dorm to their classroom because they're afraid that they're going to get harmed, that's unacceptable. A professor at Wake Forest University resigning after backlash from this post on X, appearing to sympathize with the October 7th attack, writing, so it's kind of a duh, but if you turn me out of my house and confine what's left of my family to the small impoverished state you run as an open air prison, I could be tempted to shoot up your dance party. There are also new alarm bells in New York following a brand new threat assessment by the New York State Intelligence Center of increased threats of a terror attack. Governor Hochul announcing new actions and $3 million in new funding to beef up staffing, but she's also demanding social media companies take action. And as the steward of the 21st century public square, TikTok and other social media companies, they must start to regulate vile hate speech that originates on their platforms. All of these warnings come as the FBI says it had already been operating on high alert before the war in the Middle East, with threats surging ever since. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzow.